Hello! Welcome back oh, hello to Ooh, another video on Subnautica. That <laughs> For those of you that watched my last video, I'm sure you remember this. I don't even What the fuck? What the fuck? What the f What is happening? What is that? What is happening? I've been thinking about that for the last almost three weeks because something just didn't sit right with me. So I did a lot of digging and it turns out there is a colossal void leviathan that pretty well everyone missed along with a lot of Easter eggs and stuff in the socks mod. So I'm going to go ahead and check out all of that stuff and see exactly what we might have missed. Uh, on top of that, I also have some extra stuff I wanted to show you because I know a lot of you were interested in seeing it. Uh, I have a voice command uh, thing on it, so, hmm. make it daytime and th that's that's what I mean like this is this is what it does it does what you tell it to do and sometimes it does what you don't want it to do but you don't realize that it's it's you know like look at that Reaper Leviathan <laughs> oh fuck. so I started a brand new save just so I could show you guys the power of this because this is literally like you say it and you get it pretty much Give me a knife. Give me a sea glide. Give me a flashlight. Give me a high capacity oxygen tank. Star Platinum. Attack the rabbit ray. <laughs> the poor thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it just wiped it out of existence. Oh, man. Spawn a Reaper Leviathan. Oh, God. Oh. Ah, uh, that was not supposed to do that. That's cool, I guess. Warp me forward 100 meters. Star Platinum. Spawn Reaper Leviathan. Star Platinum. Kill that Reaper. <laughs> it's so... It's kind of useful. I like it. Oh, man. Kill that Reaper. <laughs> See you later, Sekir. Spawn 50 Peepers. Star Platinum. The world. Kill that Reaper. <laughs> it's so cheap, though. Like, goodbye. <laughs> oh, God, the world. Kill that reaper! <laughs> it's so good! Like, this is my favorite thing ever! I can't believe no one's actually, sh uh, like, shown off this mod and had time to, like, you know, like, all these peepers that are around. Hang on, wait, 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 let me, let me just... The world! Kill everything! <laughs> it's so mental, like... Oh my god! Where'd they go? <laughs> like, I can't believe that this hasn't been shown off to people. I can't believe more people don't know about this. It's so good. I don't think it actually killed everything, but like, a lot of the stuff is is gone. It took care of the Reapers and the threats that were here, so that's that's always good. Star Platinum. Yeah. So like, is whoa? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It hurt me. It hurt me ask everything to, you know, ow, oh my god, what the, f bad things are happening to me, stop. Okay, so, obviously it's a little bit of a mess, um, you have to be very careful with what you say, especially as a commentator, a uh, commentator, but like, um, <laughs> still pretty cool. Bring all acid mushrooms to me. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what else that works with, but that's pretty insane. That's so much acid mushroom. <laughs> this would have made a playthrough so much easier. Oh, and that's literally all the acid mushrooms that are rendered in in the world right now are now at my feet. I just scared myself because every time I say that, it, it does that. It's just like a freak. It's pretty, yeah, that. Yeah, basically. My God, it's like killing me. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Okay. All right. Whatever. Oh my God. It's farting everywhere while it dies. <laughs> Oh, shit. No! 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 What the hell? You're not supposed to do- ah, 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 No! Oh my god, what the fuck? I didn't know that could happen. 
I didn't know it could attack me. That was messed up. I hope it didn't hear that. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. oh what the fuck was that? Oh, I didn't like that at all. This is doing things that I didn't know I could do. That's scary. Oh, oh my God. I'm taking a break. No, no, no. What the fuck? So while we're taking a break, because, uh, <laughs> skid marks on my pants for sure on that one, I wanted to take like 20 seconds of your time and show you Moonbreaker. And I'm not being paid for this, by the way. We all love Unknown Worlds for bringing us Subnautica and Below Zero. They're currently working on Subnautica 3. And as a community, I just want to show them some love and support for their new title. From now to the 23rd, Moonbreaker is entirely free to play. Our friends at Unknown Worlds have taken a brave step into a new genre. Once again, sculpting a game from the ground up. And as a bonus, if you do enjoy the game, you'll be able to pick it up for a whopping 34% off during the free week so you can continue the adventure. I'll be playing a few games over there myself this week, and I hope I see some of you over there. Let's party! This is my attack! Vroom, vroom! Smashy, smashy! Sniped me, you! That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Go beyond the cadets menu and into the reaches. Oh my god. I don't know what that was. Like, I actually don't know what that was. That was so messed up sounding. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh. Oh my god! What? Oh. What? Wait, what's that? That's a stop. Oh. Dude, I'm actually sweating right now. That's. Oh. Make it day. Oh, oh okay. All right, is it? What the? <sighs> Star Platinum. <sighs> I don't know what made those sounds. <laughs> oh, if I say that, it does that, but it has like messed up ones, I think. Okay, let's. <sighs> sounds. <laughs> okay. The oh, fuck. Dude, dude, what the fuck? Okay. Okay. So anyways, uh it's just it's just it's just uh the, the S word and that's all it is. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think the fog cheat still works, but th there's stuff in this that like the developer wouldn't tell me about and I'm kind of finding this stuff out as I go. Bring all table coral to me. I'm never gonna get- whoa, it's like, what's happening? It's like, oh, okay, whatever. Um, oh, it found more. It's like, scanning for them. Delete everything. My oh my god, everything is gone! It even deleted objects! Holy crap, man, what the f- like, lit oh, there's the poop though. Um, everything else is gone though. Anyways, you guys can understand the absurdity of this mod. I'm gonna go back to the Sock Nautica mod now, and we're going to look at some other crazy and cool stuff. This was really a treat, though. Like, I- Oh, wait, why is everything back? Delete everything. Star Platinum. Delete everything. <laughs> That's so cool. It helps with my performance, too. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. No, 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 no. Stop doing that. Don't do that. I probably should have, uh, not done that right next to the sock tank. Uh, <laughs> oh shit, it's inside the sub. Wait, <laughs> did it go in the moon pool? No, it's- <laughs> It's inside the- It's inside the wall. Oh my god, it fit inside the wall. What the- What the hell, man? This is messed up. Oh shit. Oh, and it breaks into a sea moth. Okay, alright, that's cool, I guess, but- uh, I'm gonna get out of this real quick because I don't want to be inside the uh, 
the sub. So the sock tank is the very first weaponized vehicle we ever got to see in Subnautica in the way that it has its own tank cannon. And, like, it shoots explosive rounds. The other ones shoot vortex per, uh, torpedoes, which, like, they don't really do much damage. You can get the poison ones, I guess, but they're not. I wouldn't really consider those, like, a weapon. Um, but a cool thing about this is that underneath the sock tank, there's actually room for an upgrade storage. So you can, you can upgrade this vehicle. But I don't know if that means they have plans in the future to actually make this an upgradable vehicle that you can, I don't know, maybe do something like a rail cannon instead and, like, some cool stuff. Um, just like in this, actually, the, uh, Dad Submersible, which is probably one of the coolest submarines I've seen to date within the game. Uh, there's actually an Easter egg that's hidden in this submarine up here. And no one saw it. Literally no one caught on to it or saw it. But you need to go into free cam in order to find it, because you're not going to find it normally. But if you go to this table right here, you look here, there's a little, little cat taco. Look at it, little sock cat. It's, it's adorable. It's, uh... Yeah, it's that. That's the Easter egg. Okay. <laughs> also, something that confuses me is that this vehicle doesn't have a propeller. Like, it doesn't- it doesn't seem to have, like, an actual means of propulsion, so I'm kind of confused as to, like, why? Like, the Cyclops has a little, like, fins here and stuff, but whatever. That's nitpicking, I guess. So I found out some information about these creatures as well, and they are related to the Bloop and the Blaza. This one right here, I think, is related to the Bloop. Unfortunately, I don't think it can be scanned, but I can free cam and get a better look at this, because I never really did take time to look at it. Uh, this one isn't, like, um, an evolved, uh, Bloop or anything. This is actually called the Ancient Bloop. This is the Bloop, I guess, from a very long time ago, or maybe a bloop that has just aged to the point where it has matured into this, whatever you want to call this, basically. Armadillo looking, I don't know, thing. It doesn't look like a bad creature, in all honesty, and like, I like the detail of like, the green that they've added onto it, and, and like, the membrane type of stuff. Um, I do wish that they did a little bit more with the sound design, but it looks like they kept the bloop's mouth as well, uh, when this thing actually attacks you. As you can see, there's a mouth inside the mouth, and that's reminiscent of the bloop, obviously. The Blaza, down right here, uh, is another story. I think it's the ugliest damn thing I've ever seen. Uh, like, with its face, I mean. I'm not, like, trying to be an ass or anything. The body looks cool. I like the idea of, like, the transparent gelatinous membrane and the, uh, the bioluminescence that it has. Like, it looks really nice and cool. It kind of, like, derps out and wraps around itself. I know this was an issue they had with the Garg a long time ago, but they fixed it. Um, but the main point of this is the face. The face is just atrocious. This, like, makes me think of, like, a, a very old Giganotosaurus from the Isle, maybe, in a way, with the messed up teeth and just, like, maybe, like, a very aggressive sperm cell, if that makes sense. It has nose holes as well, which kind of confuses me because I don't know if any other Leviathans in Subnautica actually have, like, nose holes for underwater. Um, or maybe that's, like something else but to me it, that looks like it's nostrils and I don't understand that in particular but maybe there's like some behind the scenes story behind that but the face is atrocious like I don't like the face at all I really don't the body's cool though and it looks like a cool creature but this is the um abyssal blaza that's what this is not the ancient blaza it's the ab abyssal blaza Anyways, that down right there is one of the jump scares that they actually specifically put in for Sox himself because it was supposed to be a decoy- Oh my god, there's two of them. Uh, it was supposed to be like a decoy to the precursor base that we actually have to go to, um, to do the final boss battle. But, that's actually an anglerfish. So if I do spawn anglerfish- and, whoa, okay, alright, no! We can actually see, like, it's a whole ass anglerfish and it's like, it's a custom, uh, imported model, I guess. Like, it has this- Weird. I don't know what happened to that. I don't know if, like, that just derped out or something, but that's supposed to be, like, a glowing light. And then this is the anglerfish itself, and it's just, it is, it's terrifying. Like, it's, it's, you know, it, it is what it is. There's another one called the Abyssal Oculus, which I'm pretty sure this already existed in, uh, within the game world. It's just, like, an Oculus, uh, upsized, basically. I can't scan that. I wasn't able to spawn the, uh, Blaza as well. Um, let me see. Now, this one... The one I'm about to bring in requires special runtime use because it will not spawn normally. So I have to use runtime editor. All right, so I need REPL console, and then I just paste this in. I want to make it known that Slendy said nothing should happen when I do this except it should bring the creature into the world through the alternative means because otherwise you can't spawn it in uh, unless you pilot the spot of the Sox tank 
um, at like a specific point for it to trigger. So this better not scare the shit out of me. Oh shit. Oh shit, don't- Whoa, okay! Oh my god! Dude, this is- This is mental! I knew it! I knew this was something more than just a, uh, a, a like, a, a creature we had already seen. I knew there was more to this. Look at the little things floating around on the ins- Oh, shit. Oh, okay! Oh, what the- Oh, okay, all right. It's- It does the biting. It definitely does the biting. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. I didn't expect it to actually do that. I thought it wasn't gonna do that. It's massive! It's huge! What are these? What are you? Are these eyes? These might be eyes. Can I swim into that? I can swim into that. It's freaking... Damn! Like... I've never- th This would dwarf the Garg, I'm pretty sure- Oh, I need to spawn a Garg now. Wait, let me just- So this is the Colossal Void Leviathan. It looks like it has a bunch of eyes inside its mouth. It has teeth on teeth. What the hell is this? What is that? Is this like a tongue or something? Does it- The creature goes all the way back here? Holy crap! How big is this thing? Okay, it just goes all the way back. Wait, are we inside its body right now? Is its body so massive that like we- Oh shit, okay. Its body is so massive that like we can't actually see it? I'm gonna go up to the surface. Oh my god, everything's like super slow now. How big was the- How big is that damn creature? Why is it doing this to me? Alright, so I need to go here. And... The- Oh my god! It's huge! Holy crap! But I think it's not even- It doesn't even have a body, it's just a mouth. It's a mouth with like... Testicle things in it? And it looks like it has a ton of eyes as well. But this is what everyone missed. We saw it, like, when we were, you know, doing our stuff, but like... What the freak, man? Like, that could- th That could take a chunk out of the Aurora! Man, it's huge! Oh shit, what the hell? Oh, that's how it does it! It grabs you with that, and then it drags you in and bites you. I think that was specifically made for the socks tank. Yeah, so like, look at that! This thing could bite onto the Aurora! If it really wanted to, that is- that's kind of crazy, actually. Yeah, so that's the- the gargantuan void leviathan. My god, it's tiny compared to the mouth of that! Oh shit! Oh, it's gonna grab the gar- Arg. It didn't grab the garg. Oh, that one's over there, too. I would love to see a body attached to this thing's mouth. It would, like, it- look at the size of a fully grown void uh, garg compared to that! Like, this thing would try and get away! It would- it would eat the garg like a giant spaghetti noodle, you know? That is nuts! I would love to see- If you guys follow me over on Twitter, maybe if you have time, Consider making some fan art of this, but like give it a body make it look how you would want it to look because this This is kind of crazy and I'd, I'd like Man that would be such a huge creature If its mouth is that big and the garg is that big next to it I need to see this thing as a fully fledged like it's worked out Why would it have what are these sensors or like eyes though and it's in its mouth like are these actually eyes or is that's what they look like to me it's freaking massive, though. I'm gonna jump into the arena now and just look around in there, because I didn't really take time to, um, explore the arena. It was pretty straightforward. Oh, look, my other tank is still here. Oh, and that right there, uh, that is called the Multi-Garg, if you wanted to spawn it in. Yeah, so then there- there's another one that just spawned and instantly destroyed the tank. Let me just free cam real quick so I can move around. What is this reactor? Where is this in the world? Like, that's the whole ass reactor there. It looks like it's just a bunch of ion cubes made into a circle to spin fast. Um, there's a whole section up right here, two of more of the ion cubes. And then if you go out here, that's one of the mouths that I spawned. Oh, whoa, wait, what is, what is this? Why is this up here? What is this? Is this, oh, this is under the lava zone. We're in the lava zone right now. And this arena is underneath the lava zone because that's the Sea Emperor's containment facility on my other base here. Yeah, so that's what that is then. This is like literally just underneath the very bottom of the uh, of the world or where you're supposed to explore, I think. Nothing really too fancy about this. I think we already looked at it in the last video somewhat. It's basically just a bunch of garg heads uh, pasted on to a long neck. Um, and just like, control C, control V, like five times basically. 
Uh, and then you have this monstrosity of just multiple heads attached to this right here. Wow, it has, it has some bioluminescence, actually. I didn't notice that before. Let me just turn my fog sheet back on. Yeah, so it has it has some bioluminescence then. Okay. And there's nothing underneath. Wait, there's a mouth under here. What what are you doing down here? Oh, so this is like underneath. Um. Yeah, so that's underneath the uh, the arena then. That's pretty cool. But this is all custom made then. This was all custom made specifically for this, which is pretty badass, I think at, at least. So I was going to end this video out by doing a skit with the Titan Submersible, um, but I feel that's uh, a little insensitive in a way, and I guess I'm just going to show you guys the model of it and not really move forward with the uh, the skit that I was going to do, because regardless, a tragedy is a tragedy, and some things... Uh... But that's everything that I have for you right now on Subnautica. There are a couple things that I was going to show you, but I'm going to reserve those for a future video, um, because they are pretty cool, I'd like to get some stuff fleshed out too for them. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, as always, about what you've seen in this video. It would be kind of cool if this was actually functioning, but... Unfortunately, it's uh, it's just like a model, and uh, it's not gonna be um, finished. I don't believe, anyways, to my under to my understanding. Man, this would have been terrifying to go see the Titanic in. Like it's like a giant pill capsule. Man, I oh dude oh my god no Reaper don't don't do that dude that's insensitive as hell. Oh my god, damn man that's messed up. <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.